Okay, the next one we're going to work on is what we call a two-on-one wrist release. So Chris is going to be grabbing my left hand with both of his hands this time. Now obviously, he's got a little bit more of an advantage here. He's got, he's got the strength of both of his arms. So what we want to do is we want to assist by using the other hand. So we're going to take this hand and we're going to reach in and we're going to grab our own hand. If you could just release that for a second, Chris. This is what it looks like, okay? We're going to be reaching right in and doing a grip on our other wrist. So once again, Chris grabs, I reach in. Again, always the opposite leg. I step back, same basic technique, same basic follow through, again, and continue. So again, situation that's not dangerous, back off, leave me alone. Situation that's more dangerous, he attacks, maybe I'm going to strike him first to loosen him up a little bit. Just a quick strike. Could be an eye poke, could be a slap. Then I reach in, grab, break, follow through. Man. If you notice, most of my head attacks, I'm using an open palm. And the reason is simple. Most people, many, many times, break their hands by punching somebody in the face or head. It's very, very easy to break your hands. So you have to be very careful with that. So it's a lot safer, and the impact on a palm heel strike really is just as effective as a punch. Okay, so that's what we call a two-on-one wrist release.